Now, according to Wikipedia, the Alicanto is a mythological bird whose wings shine at night with a beautiful metallic colour and their eyes emit a strange light. It's also a brand new range of caravans from Bailey. There are three in the current lineup. They're all four birth caravans, one of which is a twin axle. So let's start in the first corner, the Estoril, or Estoril. Ah, oh, we'll work out how we say it later on. Right, here we are inside the Estoril, and it's a very nice interior indeed. Now on paper, you could easily say that this was an eight foot wide unicorn, but as I'll show you some of the details in a moment, you can see that that's anything but the truth. But first of all, let's go through some technical specifications of this particular caravan. Its MTPLM is 1,596 kilograms. Its MRO is 1,469 kilograms, and that gives a user payload of 155 kilograms. Its dimensions. Well, its overall width is eight foot wide, which is 2.45 meters. Its overall height is 2.6 meters, and its overall length is 7.3 meters. And this caravan will go on the market at 28,499 pounds. Okay, so that's the specifications. Now let's have a look around. First of all, let's start at the lounge. Okay, so this particular demonstrator has the Portobello optional fabric. And as you can see, it's a very nice stone gray. Now something to talk about with the soft furnishings in the caravan is they're all now sprung. And I can assure you, even with a man of my girth, they are quite springy and quite supportive. Another thing to notice on the seats here is that the headrests are also removable as well. It means that you can actually get right into the corner if you so wish and snuggle up. And of course, if you're making this up into a double bed, you can remove the cushions and there you have it. And whilst I'm talking about beds, let me give you some dimensions of the beds in this caravan. The front near side single is five foot 11 by two foot one. And the front off side is slightly longer at six foot by two foot one. Pull out the middle slat and the front double bed makes up as a comfortable seven foot by five foot. And I'll show you the actual bedding layout here at the back of the caravan in a moment. But of course, to get there, we have to go past the kitchen. And there's some really nice details here that I need to show you. So there's a number of things we need to discuss about the kitchen. First of all, let's start here with the fridge freezer. It's the Dometic fridge freezer with the doors that open both sides, like so. Very handy, certainly if you need to get into the fridge and you're this side, we need to get in the freezer and then you're that side. Something I really like though, is a very subtle design feature, is the fact it's actually flush now with the cabinets. Unlike previous fridge freezers, which have a slight bow in them by design, this one is completely flat. Very nice indeed. Right, on this side of the kitchen, there's a couple of things here which are familiar to Bailey owners and a couple of things which are not so familiar. First of all, we've got the covered cooker as per normal with the Thetford Caprice Mark III cooker, dual fuel, of course. One of the big changes though for this kitchen is the change of sink. Gone is the square sink with the exposed screw holes on the top. And now we've returned to a circular stainless steel sink. And finally, the big change here, especially for this eight foot wide caravan, is the L-shaped kitchen. It produces a lovely worktop here. The cutlery drawer sits out nice and proud and you've got yourself a nice working area here for the kitchen. Gone is the option of the pull-up flap here. You just don't need it. And to make sure that the kitchen is barricaded off, you've got this glass splashback, which I must say is pretty pointless because there is a gap underneath it. Now, a final thing to notice is above the kitchen, as you can see, all the overhead lockers are now curved. Something that we've seen in previous caravans many years ago. But gone are the uh, square flat cupboards and we have these lovely curved options here. I think they look quite nice. Soft closing, of course. Right, that's the front. Let's go and have a look at the beds. Right, as we work further back to the end of the caravan, this one, as you can see, is two single fixed bed layout with a washroom at the rear. Let me give you the dimensions of the beds. Each bed is six foot four by two foot six, respectable size, and the mattresses are made up of a memory foam topper, which makes them incredibly comfortable for a good night's sleep. I've had a bit of a sleep on them already. Pretty comfortable. So that's the bed options. The headboards, I must say, wrap around at the back there. A very nice detail again. Makes it very cosy and very homely indeed. Let's go and have a look in the bathroom and there's another detail I need to share with you. So a familiar sight here for anybody that owns a current model Bailey is the granite stone fully lined shower. Exactly the same as all the others in the range, but something a bit different and a welcomed departure from the previous incarnations is the sink. As you can see, it's now sunk into a worktop. It's not those ridiculous pop-up shelves. It means it easier to keep clean. Right, so that's the bathroom. Now, something that you've noticed, maybe even on that door there, is the wood choice here in the caravan. It's a complete departure away from the Phoenix, the Pegasus, or the Unicorn. You can see the wood here is a lot lighter. I must admit, it's really quite nice. I always prefer the lighter wood options anyway. I just wish that this tone of wood would have been around about a year ago. It would have made our buying choices a lot simpler. 
Right, so that's the Estoril. oil. Let's go and have a look at another layout. Right, here we are in the second layout. This is the Sintra. It's a transverse fixed bed and washroom. Let's give you some stats on this caravan. The MTPLM is 1,624 kilograms. The MRO is 1,441 kilos. And that gives a user payload of 155 kilograms. Its width again is eight foot. Its shipping length is 7.381 and its overall height is 2.605 meters. So the Sintra, well this particular demonstrator hasn't got the optional upgraded fabric, it's the standard fabric, and as you can see, it looks quite nice here in the caravan. So at the front of the caravan, it's the same deal. We've got two seats either side here, the cushions in the corner, and those nice little removable headrests. We've had a look at them. You don't need to remove those if you want to make this up as a double bed. Now, let's talk about the beds here at the front here for a moment. Again, the front near side single is 5 foot 11 by 2 foot 1, and the opposite side is 6 foot by 2 foot 1. Pull out the middle slats and adjust the cushions, and the front double makes up as 7 foot long by 5 foot wide. The rear double bed, by the way, is 6 foot 3 by 4 foot 8. Now, like all the other caravans in this range, this also has outer wet heating. It's particularly useful to know in this caravan, because with the bed pulled out, you won't catch your legs on the back of any trunking, down the bottom there, so you can easily get past the bed when it's fully pulled out. Let's have a look at the back there and have a look in the bathroom. Again, like all other Bailey caravans, we've got the same deal with the shower. It's the granite fully lined shower cubicle in the corner. Thetford Lou on the other side of the caravan, and we've got that nice new wash basin at the back there. Right, so that's in here. Um, a couple of things to point out. In this particular demonstrator, I can't seem to find a TV point. Certainly there's nothing here on the wall. Let me swing you around here. There's nothing here to show if a TV would go here. So I don't know where the TV point is in this caravan. There is one next to the bed at the back there, but I can't seem to find one here for the lounge area. Maybe this is a caravan to enforce you to read books and talk to each other. I don't know. Well, there you go. What do you think of this one? Let's go and have a look at the last one, the twin axle. Yeah, this is more like it. This is one for me, I think. Very familiar this to me because obviously we have a 640 based upon the Phoenix and it's a lot smaller than this one. But this layout is very familiar to me indeed. And there's a couple of things which I really enjoy about this caravan so far. Obviously this has got the end island bed, mid washroom, front lounge area. Let's give you some stats on this caravan. So this caravan's MTPLM is 1,779 kilograms. Its MRO is 1,619 kilograms and it's got a user payload of 160 kilos. Its dimensions, well, again, it's eight foot wide. Its overall length is 7.8 meters, and its height is 2.605 meters. And this one retails for 29,499 pounds, just shy of 30 grand. Let's have a look around. So at the front of the caravan is exactly the same. We've got two seats either side, which can make up as two singles. Dimensions of those are six foot two by two foot one, or six foot by two foot one on the other side. Pull out the slats and we've got six foot 12 by five foot as a double bed. Now the bed at the back of the caravan when fully pulled out is six foot three by four foot eight. Not a bad size bed. One thing to note about the bed at the back there is it's also got a sprung mattress with a memory foam topper. So it makes for a very comfortable bed. Other things I particularly like on this, we've got a TV bracket on the wall here, hung ready to go for a TV. Another nice thing I like about this is because this is a wider caravan, the doorway through from the kitchen to the bedroom is a little bit wider. The bathroom is considerably bigger than in our caravan. But some other features which I particularly like is the wine rack next to the kitchen and the microwave being above the cooker. For more information on this range of caravans, why not visit us online at swindoncaravansgroup.com or visit one of the three branches to view these caravans in person. Thanks for watching.